So there I was, sitting in one of the best hospitals in the country with lukewarm potatoes in front of me and the doubts of doctors ringing in my ears. I was hospitalized when I could no longer walk very well and was experiencing excruciating pain. Despite my alarming symptoms, the Johns Hopkins medical staff had just informed me that they believed my pain and weakness were the, for the result of a psychosomatic disorder. Or, in other words, they thought it was all in my head. They didn't say it quite like that, though. The advising medical doctor walked in and said, Can you come in for bi-weekly visits with a psychiatrist? Ouch! To add insult to my illness, my weakness and pain were written off as hallucinations of a little girl who may or may not understand the meaning of the word bi-weekly. So what went wrong? Though the advances in medical technology are exciting, doctors throughout the field have been starting to rely on them to the point of disbelieving their own senses and the senses of their patients. I believe that this disregard for human observation is a mistake. For as long as the scientific field and scientific theory have existed, the basis of scientific observation has been observation through the human senses. When Robert Hooke first invented the microscope, he had to present it as an external organ or as a device capable of magnifying the ability of the actual human senses to perceive what is happening. That's the only way the scientists of his day would take his research seriously. Unfortunately, they were kind of off to a bad start as they were. Hook was alarmed at what many of his contemporaries had started practicing, which was using thought experiments to confirm their hypotheses instead of actually looking at observations. He said, it is now high time that the science of nature should return to the plainness and soundness of observations on material and obvious things. I agree with Hook. While it is true that the lack of human observation I experienced in the hospital was not, con was not caused by erroneous thought experiments, eliminating the human element of observing and sensing from medical treatment in favor of data from MRI and CT scans puts puzzling patients like me in a little bit of a bind. I had a happy ending. After a long search, I found a doctor who believed me and was able to diagnose and treat my bacterial infection. Not everyone has access to the time and resources that I do though. How many lives will we endanger when we refuse to believe our senses? Thank you.